In these problems, we're dealing with some of the properties of tangent lines. In this first one, it says AD is tangent to both circles in the figure. One of the properties of a tangent line is that uh, it forms a right angle at the point of tangency with a line drawn to the center. So what we know is both of these angles are right angles. So that's what we get from uh, the property of, of a tangent. Uh, let's uh, see what else we've got here. If DC is 14, so this is 14, BC, okay, so that's a line they haven't drawn in for us. Let's go ahead and draw that in. BC is 23, and AD is 22. Find the length of BA. So we want to find this guy to the nearest tenth. And at first that looks a little difficult. Uh, maybe if we had a, a right triangle, we could use the Pythagorean theorem somehow, but it looks like we have a quadrilateral. Well, one nice thing we can do here, because we know uh, we've got two 90-degree angles here, is we can simply move this line up. Think about moving this line up at the length of BA. We would get another right angle there, and then BA would be 14 minus this chunk right in here. So if we find this chunk in here, which it looks like we can do now because this length is 22, we've got 23 up there, and we've got a right triangle. So we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side. Subtract it from 14, and we've got BA. So let's try that. Uh, so we'd have A squared plus 22 squared equals 24 squared. So A squared plus 484 equals 576. So a squared equals 92. And square root of that, we're going to have a equals 9.6. We subtract that from 14. And we get ba is 4.4 units. All right, let's look at a, a different type of tangent problem. So this one says the circle is circum circumscribed by the pentagon as shown and then it starts giving us some values for some of the sides. What you need to know here to solve this one correctly is that if you have a circle and you have two lines that are tangent, the distance from the point where they intersect to the circle are going to be the same on both sides. So that's the key for this one. So it, it first tells us that QZ, this length right here, is 9. If that's the case, then QR is going to be 9 because it has the same relationship. They share a point, and then they're tangent to the same circle. So let's see if we can take the information they're giving us and go around and fill out all the different sides. We want to find the perimeter on this one, so we're going to need to know the lengths of all the sides. It says YX is 7, so that's this side, so it would be the same as this side, so ZY is 7. XW is 12, so I'd have 12 here and 12 here. UW, okay, so that's this whole length is 15, so I can subtract here and get 3, so 15 minus the 12 here, I got 3. That means TU is 3 as well. And then it says SU is 16, so I'll do my subtraction trick again and I'll get 13 here, which means this side is 13. So I've got 9 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 plus 12 plus 12 plus 3 plus 3 plus 13 plus, plus 13, and what I think that adds up to is 88. So you can check my math on that one, but uh, I think that's our perimeter. All right, let's do one more. This one's a little bit different. So here we have this triangle. We've got a, a tangent line. It says BD is tangent to the circle at point C. And then we have this uh, arc measure EFA is 204. So this guy right around here, 204. And they're also telling us the measure of angle ECD, so this angle right here, is 41. The key property about tangents you need to know here is that when you have an angle formed by a line that's tangent to the circle and some secant line, the angle that's formed there is going to be half of the arc length, or the arc length is going to be twice. So if this angle is x, the arc length is 2x. It's the same relationship you have with an inscribed angle. So let's go ahead and use those facts. Uh, they're telling us this angle here is 41. So we can figure out this arc length right here. It's going to be twice that, so that would be 82. And because of that, we can figure out this arc length right here 
all we have to do is subtract 204 and 82 from the whole arc length of the circle, which is 360. And let's see, I think that's going to give you 74. And we want to find AEC, which is this angle here inside the triangle. And what you'll notice is that that angle there intercepts this arc, 74. And it's an inscribed angle, so it's going to be half of that arc length. So that is going to be 37 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with some of the properties of lines that are tangent to circles.